Area 8 is our newest park, and it has a really intriguing history. It basically began its life as a quarry in 1958, limestone quarry. It provided a lot of the aggregate for the 401 and Pearson Airport. And as the quarry neared its end of operations, um, its owners, which were Barrick Gold, um, started to talk to Conservation Halton. And in 2001 is when Conservation Halton officially took over the property and we started working on it, rehabilitating it. Um, and that was 20 years ago. I like to call it as sort of an inverted landscape. Most of our parks are on the Niagara Escarpment. And so, you know, they have a sort of a high visual line. This one is a bowl because it was dug into the ground. So when we first looked at this property, it, to me, reminded me of a lunar landscape. If you look at the transformation of that site from, you know, 20 years ago uh, to what it looks like today, how do you get from that point to this point really is about science. It's about a lot of monitoring. It's about finding out what's the, what's the water temperature, what's the pH. You start to study those things to then see how do you want to shift those parameters so you can actually have a thriving fish community. So you do the same with the entire landscape. You know, what will survive? What are you going to plant? A lot of science goes into first studying the site, then coming up with a plan so there are lots of important ecological features in Area 8, one of them being a beautiful lake. Another is, and this is very unique, that site is home to um, some eastern white cedars. Some of those trees are over 760 years old. So we recently held a fundraiser in Area 8. It was called Terra Firma. And the, you know, the main purpose of holding that fundraiser is to raise funds, obviously, for that site, but also to introduce that site to a broader public. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Terra Firma, Conservation Halton Foundation's gala. These are special places. I mean, it was once a quarry, and it just proves that um, through time and through innovation, through hard work, you can recreate, replicate, and Mother Nature seems to be really forgiving because she, she allows us to create spaces like this uh, when it was once, I think, the language that was used, a moonscape. And today it's green, it's lush, it's thriving. We're all stewards of the land, getting outside, having our, fir our feet firmly placed on the ground, you know, and learning what those plants the animals, the winds, those kinds of things that play in our everyday lives is really, really key and really, really important. I think the biggest lesson that you can learn from this project and all of the other great projects of Conservation Halton is that you're strongest as a conservation authority if you're deeply rooted with the people and providing for them what they need. Beautiful green space, for example, access to nature, for example. Green space is going to be so critical and recreational facilities is going to be equally as important. So this is going to be a great recreational facility as well, adding to, you know, all the trees and all the water to help with that climate uh, change that is coming. So this will add to, uh, you know, the positive end of that. So make no mistake that this is a diamond in the rough. I think this offers an incredible, exciting opportunity for, for this province, for looking outside the box. And I think that's what we've seen right here. And I think for quarries around this province and other areas, transforming it, restoring wetlands, restoring trail networks, uh, exactly what's uh, been done here. For future generations, this sands as an inspiration, this sands as an art of the possible. Looking at this site take shape and evolve it has been a little bit like having a front row seat watching the beginning of time. To see the landscape transform with effort where you start to see elements that are more familiar with natural spaces like greenery, trees, shrubs changing colors, if you can pick up the sound in the background of all of the birds and the wildlife reacquainting themselves with the space, moving back in and finding an equilibrium, a balance. It's just been, it's been fascinating to see it happen. 
My message to the community would be that we have Conservation Halton through our parks, through our 1.5 million visitors, the hundreds of thousands of people who learn to ski, to hike, to bird watch. We're very proud of that community. So I'm, my message to them is we're adding an eighth space for you. We hope you embrace it. We have a lot of confidence in our community that they will not just be visitors to this site, but they will be stewards for it as well.